Hi. Okay, so we're going to make head chains today. Um, and what I'm using, I'm using some um, chain that's on a roll. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I cut it down to fit the circumference of my head. Um, these are just some like little findings that I found, you know, maybe old jewelry that I have, whatever. You know, just some cute little dainty findings. So I am going to fold this in half and I'm going to separate it right there. So I'm just using my needle nose pliers, two of them to separate the chain. Nice little twist. So now I have two separate pieces of chain that are the exact measurement of the circumference of my head. Now I'm gonna take um, one of these pretty little charms and I'm going to uh, take one of them off doing the same method. So now that I've separated one of the charms off, I'm gonna get a bigger jump ring and open it up. And here I'm going to connect not only am I going to connect this, but I'm also gonna connect both of the chains in the center. So something kind of like that. And then I am going to close the jump ring again. So now I have something like so this is going to kind of dangle in the center of the forehead and this is going to go around towards the back behind the head. Um, here I have a head pin and I thought I would add just like another little detail on the top of this. Um, so how I'm going to use this head pin and um, make it kind of like at create a nice detail at the top, including a jump ring on the top and the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna uh, make a little right angle. Pop that around, then I'm gonna wrap it around the needle nose plier. So now it looks something kind of like that. And usually I would do like a round needle nose plier, but I don't think it'll matter much because this is gonna be kind of tucked out of the way. And I'm just going to wrap this wire around so it's not poking anyone. So I attached a little bead onto there and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So making this a right angle, wrapping it around and wrapping it around this way. And now I'm going to cut off the excess. And usually there's a little cutter right here. Duh cut off the excess. Most of the time, most pliers will have it. All right, so now I've got it on both sides. I'm gonna take a smaller jump ring about this side and I'm gonna use this to attach this here. And I'm gonna put another one here and attach to another piece of chain that will go down the center of the forehead. Okay, so now that it's all attached, this is what it looks like so far. So we've got this center charm hanging. We've got this little accent bead in the middle and two chains on the side and one up at the top. Now the very last thing is to connect all three chains in the back with one jump ring and maybe another little charm. Okay, so now the center looks like this, this is in the back. So I have a bigger jump ring here with the center chain and the side chains. And then now that's left is just to put like a really pretty charm there. So I don't wanna do the same one. So I have something that's a little bit more sparkly and different just so that, you know, it's interesting. So I thought maybe something like this would be pretty over there. We'll throw that on there. All right, so that's on there. and. I thought to, kept, to keep this little chain and make this just a little more dangly because it's going to be in the back and probably in the hair. So I have another one of these little head pins 
and I thought, you know, why don't I put just like a really pretty pearl accent in there somehow. So I have this kind of like rose gold bead I thought was prettier. And I am just going to do the same thing. Okay, so that is on there now. And that gets attached to this and then I'll show you how it looks on. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. And it has, it's not over the top, so you can totally wear it for a lot of different occasions like music festival. You could wear it with like a white shirt and some jeans and it just instantly dresses up your look. Um, and you don't want to do over embellish it because then you won't really wear it. But something just very small, you can actually wear it all the time. I make these um, for the girls at my store all the time. And this one girl tells me that she keeps it in her emergency kit and when she goes to the club she just throws it on and um, it's just a very quick accessory and nobody else usually is wearing something like this um, and then I'll take a picture of the back and show you what the back looks like now if you were giving this as a gift making it as a present then I would probably put um, a little lobster clasp and um, make the chain a little longer so that they can adjust it. But since I made this for myself and it fits me exactly, I just made it to fit me so I could just slip it right on and not really have to worry about um, an extra little clasp or hooking anything in the back. All right, thanks for watching.